ERA sub two. That's saying something. Hopefully, we're going to see more of the same from this guy, one of the top pitchers in all the league. Dan Dero, these Phillies, as they begin play here today, they have not been playing their best baseball of late as they've dropped four of their last five. Hey, this is the big one here, Matty. You know what, d -Roll? They're about to head on a nine-game roadie. One thing they'd like to do, get on that plane feeling good about themselves and salvage their last game of the series. Yeah, Dan, they need to find a way to win this one today. Get on the flight. Makes everybody's dinner taste better. Nine-game road trip coming up. A lot of packing involved. A lot of grinding on the road. They need to find a way to win this last one at home. Bases are empty. One man out. Fouled away. Alvarado. Stands 6-2 and throws from the left side. Is currently the leading vote getter among starting pitchers in the league and quite deservedly so. Yeah, Matty, not surprised this guy is on the top of the All-Star game, Boney, but you have to take a step back. This is being voted on by the fans, so I can't imagine how he feels to be voted in by his fans to start in the All-Star game right now. Manny Machado is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Now time to list the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Jerry Hillsdale. Dero, Jerry Hillsdale might be one of the more solid everyday umpires in the league right now. Yeah, I think he's one of them. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Three up, three down for San Diego. So now the Phillies offense will see what they can do. No score. Denelson Lamette, the right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. Dan Plezak, what do you got? One of the things that jumps out if you look at that stat sheet, a very high whip coming into that start. One of the things he's going to have to do a much better job, keep traffic off the bases, keep the walks down, try to limit the amount of hits. He's had a rough go of that so far this year. Let's see if he can turn it around in this one. Wind up and the 0 1. Now here's a ball hit in the air to straightaway right field. This ball's got plenty of carry to it, and it is out of here. A solo home run here off the bat of Odubel Herrera, and that is 27 for him on the year, and the Phillies grab a 1 0 lead. This guy has been a serious thorn in the side of the staff. Homering twice in three days. The numbers don't lie. He owns these guys right now. And now, Brad Miller. Guys, these Padres as they take the field this afternoon. They've had it go in the last ten games. They're seven and three over that stretch, including a win last time out. Yeah, Matty B. They've come out guns a blazing so far in this series. Won the first two games of this series in blowout fashion. Nothing they'd like more than the win. Uh, one sack as that ball is into the gap in right center. Should be good for at least two bases. And they'll keep it going here as he's in with a double. As a pitcher, you'd love to assert your authority early on in the game, but it hasn't happened so far out here. That's a home run and a double against him now, and we're still in the first. He's going to have to make some adjustments quickly if he's going to turn this around. Now at the plate, Alec Bone, And with numbers like those, he's putting himself in contention for some rookie of the year hardware if he can keep it up. First pitch of the at-bat. Fouled off. Here's the 0 1. And it's fouled away. Miller stands at second with no outs. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And that's going to fall for a base hit. Man, he's seeing it like a beach ball right now. Even that his cool. soft. Contact is finding holes down. He's making it nearly impossible for a pitcher right now. Up, down, in and out, hard, soft. Anything you throw forward to home plate, this guy seems to somehow be able to find a hole. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Tried to golf at it, but he missed strike one. This is exactly the situation you drew up from an offensive standpoint. Good pitcher on the mound, but you got a chance to bury him early in this one. 
Brown ball to second. This could be two. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And this was set up perfectly for him to start the double play. He's in ideal position. And then I think he got a little bit ahead of himself. You know that old saying, be quick but don't hurry? Well, I think that was demonstrated right here. Into the box now, Didi Gregorius. And the Phils trying to make this first inning even better here. From the belt, kicks and deals. On the ground to second base. This could be two. One there. Back to first. So they get the double play, but the run does come in to score. A base is loaded. Last thing you want to do is ground into a double play, and that's just what he does. One run scores, but you don't get an RBI in that spot. That's a rally killer. Striding into the box, Bryce Harper, a real threat with the bat, currently the National League home run leader. He's set and the pitch, and he fouls this one off. Set to deliver the 0-1. This one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on three hits, including the home run. One error in the inning, and a runner left on. On now to the top half of inning number two. Back in Philadelphia for the second, and Heidi Watney has an update for us on the weather forecast. Well, Matt, it doesn't appear that we're going to get much of a break from this rain at all as the game progresses. However, I am also hearing that this rain isn't supposed to intensify too much. The grounds crew will be on standby just in case the umpires do call a delay. But the goal is to get this one in uninterrupted. Yeah, Heidi, and thanks. Even with all the technology that we have today to be able to forecast the weather accurately, one never knows what Mother Nature has in store. Really starting to pour now, and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather. You know, one of the big issues is player safety, and right now this field is getting sloppy wet, Matt, and I don't know how much more rain this field can take. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. So one away here with the bases empty. And up steps the big bat of Fernando Tatis Jr. Strike one to start the at-bat. And he popped him up. Joyce coming on. And this will land foul. Ready on 0-2. Off the plate, ball one. Well, there's the classic 0-2 wasted fastball. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. Breaking ball. Called third strike as that catches the zone for route number two. Next to the plate for the Padres, Drew Waters will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. And you know, the heavy stuff has finally arrived. This has got to be the hardest rate we've seen all afternoon. Swing and a liner. And a base hit. The first one of the game for the Padres. Pitcher went to the well one too many times. Back-to-back -back fastballs. Hitter was able to keep his hands through. Deliver a nice line drive. No Standing in now, Austin Nova. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Well, you don't need us to tell you. It's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine the umpires will let this go too much longer if it doesn't ease up. Yeah, Matt, right now, this doesn't look too good. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see the umpires come out and bring the ground crew out here. The infield around the mound. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Padres leave one. They're still down. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. 
And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Batting in the left fielder, Matt. Here's Matt Joyce now. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Fouled away. The windup and the 0-1. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Batting nine. The pitcher. Jose Alvarado. So here now is the pitcher, Jose Alvarado. First pitch of the at bat. Fouled off. And it's one and one. Two out, nobody on. And able to lay off the fastball the way here. Two and one now. Now a swing and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. Throw in time and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. After two, it's a two-nothing ball game. First baseman Eric Hosmer is in, and the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss as he starts the third, the same way he ended the second with a punch out, one away. Nice two seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that pitch unless it's really moving. So that one must have had some real good late life. Into the box, Denelson Lamette. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. And another foul ball. Another 1-2 delivery. And he is in complete control now. Seven strikeouts as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Boy, this guy has really good now stuff so far on this one. How about seven Ks and we're just in the middle innings of this one. If he continues this up, this could be a real solid performance. Tommy Pham is at the plate as he watches ball one. He was a strikeout victim to open up the ball game. One and one to San Diego's leadoff batter. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Man, this has been a game filled of a lot of swings and misses. Not a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Padres down in order. They trail things here two to nothing. Bottom of the third now, and standing in the outfielder, Odubel Herrera. And in that last at bat, it makes you think this guy might have went up there looking for the breaking ball because he certainly got a breaking ball, and he didn't miss it. Hit it right on the screws. Herrera. A 27-year-old, he was a first-round pick during the 2014 draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick.
swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead in the count 0 2 and then start working outside the zone. Easier said than done, but that's the way you do it. At the plate, Brad Miller. He swings and sends it in the air out to left center. Pham will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. The third baseman, Alex Ball. Digging in for his second at bat, Alec Bohm. He singled his last time up. Here comes the first pitch. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls and a strike. Now a swing and a fly ball. Myers on the move. And no one will track it down. High in the air out to center field. Waters is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Phillies down in order, but they're on top two to nothing. Settling in now, Jake Cronenworth. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. From the stretch, here's the pitch. That elevated fastball right there, that is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. And so after getting the ground ball with the fastball on that last pitch, that'll segue perfectly to our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And fellas, if we do games together for the next decade, we might never see two starters in the same game throwing that hard. I mean, this has really been something. On to first, and that is two quick outs to start the fourth. The right fielder, number five. Here's Will Myers comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's a cold strike about thigh high nothing in one. Line drive to left. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit throw into second the tag and they'll get him at second and with that the side is retired three up three down for San Diego. They trail it here two to nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that brings Let's up go. JT Real, Real Muto. The captain. Captain. Real Muto. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Line towards center field. Waters is there and he has it for the first out. Well, we've mentioned the conditions aren't ideal with the rain coming down, and that can make every play a little bit of an adventure. You really have to concentrate, and he did there to haul it down. 
So the bases are empty with one man gone. And here's the left handed hitting shortstop Didi Gregorius now. Infield in the overshift here now the pitch. Ground ball right side straight into the shift. He's got it. Throw to first will get him. Already two away here in the home fourth. The right fielder, number three, right. Harper. Two are gone in the Philly fourth, and that'll bring up Bryce Harper. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swing and oh my! Hit him with the hind! And gone! An absolute bomb. A solo home run off the bat of Bryce Harper. 32 now for the season. And the Phillies open up a 3 to nothing lead. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. And it's fouled away. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Oh, and this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0 and 2 now. And I really don't know how you swing at that. He must have had his mind up he was going to swing as soon as the ball came out of the pitcher's hand. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. But the Phils tack on one more on this solo home run. We're through four. It's now 3 0 Philadelphia. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I talked with San Diego's manager during the inning break about the Padres' offensive production to this point. And he told me the quality of their swings needs to improve as the game moves forward. He said they're searching for ways to drive the ball with some authority because it's just not happening for them today. They haven't gotten an extra base hit yet, so it's been a real struggle getting guys into scoring position. But the key, he said, is not to panic. Sometimes you just have to fight through the downturns and keep your focus and energy high. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. And this is hauled in on the run for the out. And he had a lot of ground to cover to get to that one. Up next for the Padres, the center fielder, Drew Waters. Digging in to try it again, Drew Waters. He reached on a single in his first try. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Turned on down the line. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. Line drive to center field. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. Well, I'm shocked he even pulled the trigger on that pitch. He might have been fooled right there, but he was able to keep his hands back and scramble a good pitch for a base hit. to the plate now Austin Nova he swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance line towards center field but sadly for him this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second now out batter, the first baseman Eric Hosmer Digging in, Eric Hosmer. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. This is in the air to left. On the move is Joyce. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Phillies three, and the Padres nothing. Now in the box, Matt Joyce. He'll start things out in the home half of inning number five. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he fouls this one off. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. 
hit sharply on the ground. Oh, look at the sliding stop. Got him. The pitcher, number 46, Jose Alvarado. Next up will be the Phillies pitcher, Jose Alvarado. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First delivery to him on the way. Three runs, four hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Tries to go the other way as this is in the air to left field. Pham will get there with ease as he puts it away for out number two. Now batting, center fielder, Oduble Herrera. Here's the center fielder, Oduble Herrera. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Boy, not even close with that one, and he's behind 0-1. Step out of the box and wash that one off, because that was an ugly swing. Hit hard on the ground is short, and the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. So he finds the hole in the left to pick up his second base hit of the now afternoon. Now, and as you see hit. there, he currently tops yeah. the Phillies in that department. Miller. Digging in now, Brad Miller. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. He's set. Here it comes. On the ground up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw to second for the force out and the side is retired. One left for Philadelphia. But they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Jerickson Profarm will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Jerickson. Now a swing and he pops it foul behind the plate. Real Muto is there, one down. Now Every that, pitcher loves you. to get quick outs, right? Bobby. How about that? One there. pitch, one out, a pop up to start the inning. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Tommy Pham. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Strike taken up in the zone. The difference between 0-1 and 1-0 is so monumental, and this guy has been on top of his game all day, attacking the zone and getting ahead of these hitters. One out, nobody on. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. Hit out towards second. And that'll find its way into right field for a one-out single. Hey, they say in this game you better have a short memory. Well, that's obviously the case with this batter. He came into that third at bat after getting his ticket punched twice and was able to get a single. Into the box now, Jake Cronenworth. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. No hits to this point. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. Reined in. There's one. On to first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Ladies Mark Melanson enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the now sixth. For San Diego, number 36, Mark Melanson. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and standing in is the rookie third baseman, Alec Bowen. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Oh. 
can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Melanson, originally from the Centennial State of Colorado. This is his 12th season in the big league, so he's put together a really nice career to this point. Yeah, Matty, you ain't kidding right there. Ten years, we refer to that in the biz as hitting full pension. Fouled away. The one two. Weak grounder down the line at third. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Now the pitch. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. And that's out number one. Now batter. The catcher. Next will be the cleanup hitter, JT Realmuto. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch of the at bat. Hit in the air to shallow center. Tatis backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Riding in once again, Didi Gregorius. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. First offering on its way. High in the air down the right field line. Myers is under it. And that's the third out. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They lead it three to nothing. Seventh inning ready to roll. And standing in now, the always dangerous third baseman, Manny Machado. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. The 3-0 pitch. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. Well, these guys have had a hard time making contact all game long, racking up a bunch of K. So that's their first walk of the game. We'll see if that gets them going a bit. So here's Will Myers. And after that quick walk, is it fair to wonder if this starter is beginning to show signs of getting tired? Yeah, that could be the case, Matty. Sometimes you just lose your focus, lose your command, but it'll be real important for him to get it back as this next hitter walks up to the plate. In there, and it's even at one. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. To two and two now. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's velo is still top notch. This guy's a horse. High in the air out to center field. Herrera's there. One down. Now batting. Shortstop. Fernando Tatis Jr. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. Here's the first pitch to him. This is chopped down the third baseline. Now the 0-1. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. No ball, two strikes. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Takes this the other way to right, and that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue it. 
Stepping into the box, Austin Nova. And his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. No runs, five hits, and one error for the Padres so far. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Chasing after it is Joyce. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Padres leave a pair. Still down 3 nothing. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Tim Hill is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Trent Grisham is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Ready once again, Bryce Harper comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. To show you how strong this guy is, he hit that last off-speed pitch over 400 feet, so the pitcher wasn't supplying most of the power there. This is a really strong hitter. Comes set and the 0-1. Goodness, 0-2 now. Hey, I can't have one of my best left-handed power bats fishing for balls off the plate. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Down the first baseline, but a foul ball, and the count holds at 0-2. Smoked, but right into the shift. And this gets through into right, so he turns the 0-2 count into a leadoff base hit. The first baseman, number 17, three, Hoskins. At the plate now, Reese Hoskins. As a good changeup will get him to commit too early, and it's strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. one on its way one ball, one strike. that was a tempting pitch to swing at right there a big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark fouled off a runner at first with no outs here On a good changeup, a swing and a miss, and he's set down on strikes for the second time today. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him, and watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Stepping in now, Matt Joyce. Yes, he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Set. Here's the 0-1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance. Now a move over to first, but the runner's back easily. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And this one's in the dirt. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Andrew McCutcheon will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 22, Andrew McCutcheon. And it's fouled away.
The 0 1 pitch. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. One hit, one left. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Phillies three, and the Padres nothing. Sir Anthony Dominguez has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 58. Into the corner and slicing foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. And, and he fouls this one off. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. This is line to left. Joyce has him played perfectly as he puts it away for out number one. So his day fully over now as you get a look at the pitching line for the Philly starter. It was a really nice day on the mound for him. Yeah, he looked really dialed in from start to finish. This is the kind of outing you hope for every time you go out there. So I think he'll feel pretty good about the effort he put forth in this one. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. The San Diego batting order turns over and set to go. Tommy Pham, two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Fouled away. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Padres down in order. They trail in this one 3-0. So coming to the plate, Odubel Herrera. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. And there's the first out. The batter number 15, second baseman, Brad Miller. Now to the plate, Brad Miller. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. First delivery to him on the way. That's lifted the other way out to left. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now batting, third baseman, Alex Bohm. Stepping up now, Alec Bohm. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. The 0 1. Hit high and deep out to left field. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot here to left. Number 21 for him on the season as the Phillies have opened things up now for nothing.
We've seen these guys go deep three times so far in this one, guys. D. Rowe, some days the fellas walk in with their hitting shoes on, and this looks like one of those games. Yeah, well, there's a saying going around the dugout right now. There's a fight at the bat wrap. Everybody wants a chance to get into that batter's box. So striding in, JT Real Muto. And Dan, after that home run, it looks like they might be able to end this losing streak that they've been mired in. Yeah, and a win at this level feels really good, especially. Well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. But the Phils tack on one more on this solo home run. Last chance coming up for the Standing in, Jake Cronenworth. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. That's lifted the other way out to left. Joyce is there. One down. The third baseman, number 13. A reminder while we have a chance, we'll have post game highlights from Philadelphia immediately following the conclusion of the game. And in steps Manny Machado. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92, you can usually see seams. 92 to 95, it starts to really quicken up on you. Over three digits, you're seeing a white blur. Bases are empty, one man out. In the air, down the line and left. On the move is Joyce. And he makes the catch in the corner. Now batting, right fielder, Will Meyer. Into the box, Will Myers. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Now, this crowd of just over 21,000 are on their feet. Weekly hit to third. Scooped up. Throw on to first. He'll take care of him, and the Phillies will put an end to their three game skid as this ball game is over. Hey, listen, you don't always want your closer to have to go two innings on a regular basis, but in this game, it was necessary for this one, and he had just enough to get the job done.